We know what you do. We appreciate what you do. And keep on doing it. So we just all simply came by to tell you that if when you give the best of your service, and you've been doing this for 57 years, telling the world that the Savior has come. One of the great things, the thing that stood out so much was how he was raised by a wonderful mother, my friend was raised to be a blessed man. And, 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 and mama raised him to make sure he didn't get his counsel from ungodly, he stayed in church all the time. He, he, wasn't, he wasn't around ungodly people. And he didn't hang out with sinners because she would have killed him if he had hung out with sinners. Now the world's idea of a blessed man is not what he does that prospers, it's what he receives. It's what's done to him that makes him prosperous. But Calvin Abraham has done a lot of things. So you can't follow him home to see his prosperity in his garage or in his closet. You got to go over to Bella Vesta. Uh, you got to come to the Independence Heights. And it gives me a, a great privilege to come and honor uh, this man of God. And all I can think of as I was driving here is that Pastor, Pastor Bella Vesta Church walks in the light. He walks in the light. Pastor Abraham, that's all you got to do is stand. You've been standing through your life journey. Has been doing is standing and serving. CC came up and told us that nobody should cry for them. You know the song I'm paraphrasing. I know if this pastor had some tears along the way, but even in life, he probably said, Don't cry for me. I'm going to keep on keeping on. God is in charge. And so I mean it from the bottom of my heart when I say, when I grow up, I want to be like Calvin Abraham. This is, he, 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 he's lived a life that we can all admire and continues to inspire and motivate us. And when we're down, all we need to remember to do is just continue to stay. That's Abraham. Because here.